so someone has asked me this question so we have given a velocity of a particle of mass 2 kg uh, initial velocity is given and final velocity is also given so it is colliding with a smooth plane surface and then we have to find out what the angle the plane surface is making and the angle of the change in momentum vector so uh, the concept being used here is that it is given it's a smooth plane surface so for a smooth plane surface there is no change in momentum along the basically along the plane or along the inclined surface as there is no friction uh, so there is no change in momentum along the incline so the only change in momentum occurs in the direction perpendicular to the incline so if i find out the change in momentum uh, with that would only be in the direction perpendicular to the incline because there is no change in momentum or velocity in this direction or parallel to the incline so it is uh, i can either find the change in momentum vector or directly the change in velocity vector as mass is just a constant so i calculate the vf vector minus vi vector would be perpendicular to the incline again because change in momentum is perpendicular to the incline plane in this case so uh, calculating that gives me 3i cap plus j cap is my, the vector the delta v vector so this would also be the change in momentum vector if i multiply it with the mass which is 2 so this direction is the direction of the change in momentum which is perpendicular to the incline so uh, uh, clearly this vector makes an angle phi which is equal to tan inverse 1 by 3 with the positive x axis so option c comes out to be correct similarly for the first two options I know that this entire angle is theta which I, is asked in the op first two options that angle made by the plane surface with the positive x-axis. See since this was my change in, uh, change in velocity vector which is 3i cap plus j cap the plane would be perpendicular to this as I already told that there is no chain of momentum along here so this would be perpendicular to this vector. So this entire theta is basically 90 plus phi. Uh, which can clearly be seen like the plane is making angle theta and this vector is making angle phi and these both are at an angle 90 degree so clearly theta would be 90 plus phi so I know the value of phi is tan inverse 1 by 3 so theta comes out to be 90 plus tan inverse 1 by 3 so again that is option A so the correct answer to this question is option A and C so hope you uh, understood the solution and please subscribe to my channel and share this video with others so that it could help as many aspirants as possible. Thank you.